Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Eli from TwitchCheckIt.com here with an After Effects tutorial on everyone's second favorite day of the week, Effects Friday, except it is Saturday, and I'm very sorry about that, but you know what? I'm a busy bee, okay, you guys? Sometimes I get too busy to make a tutorial on Friday. I'm very sorry. Normally, I, I try really hard, but sometimes it just doesn't even matter. That's Lost Profit lyrics right there. But anyway, today, as you could tell from the intro, we're going over a trap code form audio react to your logo and I'll be including the wh whatever you guys saw in the intro I haven't made it yet but I'll be including the project file for that in the description so check the crotch and uh, also check the crotch for a link to this song it's royalty free it's on YouTube she did a great job I think it's a girl I don't, I, a dill I don't know if that's a guy or a girl's name uh, but it's a good song so yeah go check it out um also, please give the video a like because it helps us out a lot. Brandon asked for likes last time and he got like 500 likes and he gave away something. So maybe there's uh maybe I should give away something. What do you guys think I should give away? Put that in the comments, but also put something you want me to do like a dare or something and I'll do it in the next tutorial. I'll film it, I'll do whatever. Uh, but only if this video gets 300 likes. So there's a reason to like the video right there. 300 likes. I'll do a dare from the comments. And also tell me what you guys want us to give away every week so we can keep getting these likes. It's awesome. Okay, so let's get to the tutorial now. Open up After Effects. Go to the left blank canvas area. Double click in there. And I'm going to open up the logo that I made real quick for you guys. I'm going to use a composition because it is a Photoshop file. Composition, Editable Layer Styles, okay. And I just made this real quick, um, but let's just make a composition real quick. Go Composition, and uh, I'm going to make it 10 seconds, 1920 by 1080. Hit OK. And now, uh, before we drag and drop our logo into there, let's right-click down here and make a background real quick. And what a lot of people like to do for these backgrounds is, uh, let's just call it BG. Hit OK. It doesn't matter what color you do because we're just going to add a ramp. Go over to your effects. Type in ramp. Well, I couldn't see right there. Ramp. Drag and drop it onto BG. And uh, just make it whatever colors you want. So I'm actually going to make mine blue because I love blue. Hit OK. Uh, click this button right here to make it the same color. And then I'm actually just going to make it black. I just want to make it fade to black. And I'm going to make it a radial ramp, and I'm just going to amp up the scatter a ton. And all the scatter does is it adds in some noise, so it really smooths out those edges. Uh, it just makes it a lot more of a smooth transition. So I'm actually going to make it up kind of close to 500. Not quite 500 because, I mean, that's, uh, that's what the man wants. I don't want to. I'm not part of your system. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is a lot of people when they do this stuff they like to add stars to the background I'm gonna show you how to do that right click go new solid let's uh, type in stars uh, and w this actually matters make the the stars uh, whatever color you want but it, that's this uh, solid needs to be that color so I'm gonna make my stars white because I like white things I'm not racist okay but I like white things now type in star Z no 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 just star over in your effects and presets and then go to simulation st CC starburst it comes with after effects so then drag and drop it onto the stars layer and you will already see that this looks like crap so we need to fix this up but how do we do that Eli? I will show you goodness gracious sakes alive <laughs> okay so size I'm gonna size these suckers down already it's looking better uh, scatter I'm actually gonna keep it kinda high uh, change the speed to 0 0.01, or you can make it however fast you want. I don't like my stars moving that fast. I think it looks uh, looks kind of weird. So I'm going to change the grid spacing to 3. Turn the size down even more. All right, so sorry, guys. Uh, my friend walked in. Uh, my Brandon's having like a little party thing going on right now, and that's why I'm kind of rushed right now. But, yeah, let's get back to the tutorial. Um, So size... I'm going to make it all the way down to 20 because that's how I like my stars, small and bright. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so here's the weird thing when it comes to stars, guys. We don't want them all the way into this black void, okay? We want them to fade out. But the thing is, you can't 
add a mask to this uh, effect. It's very strange. So what we have to do is we literally have to plaster a black layer on top of it. So let's right click, go new, solid. Let's make it black. And we will call this star cover. And then hit OK. And now we can uh, go up to the rectangular tool and scroll out. And then here's what we're going to do. We're going to click and drag all the way across. Then we're going to bring up the mask properties. We're going to turn the feather up a lot, a lot. Then zoom back in and then just uh, tweak it to what you want. I'm going to fade mine a lot. And uh, I think I like that. Uh, and then this button right here turns off the mask layer so you can actually see what's going on. That actually looks really good. Now it looks like the stars are fading into a black void, and that's exactly what I was trying to accomplish. So now we can get to the trap code form part. So find the logo, drag and drop it in on top of the stars and everything. And I just made this really crappy logo <laughs> real fast. Uh, it just says your logo here. You guys can always just replace this if you want. Uh, and then youtube.com slash ticks McFly. Ticks. Tits McFly. <laughs> can never say that right. Okay, so um, pretty plain, pretty ugly, but we're going to make it look awesome. So go over to the effects and presets. Type in form. Nice form, Peter. And then go trap code form. Drag and drop it onto logo. And now the first thing we're going to want to do is, well, I mean, you're pretty much done already. Look at that. That's amazing. No, no, no. It looks stupid. So here's what we're going to do. Go to layer maps. Go to color and alpha. And now where it says layer, we're going to switch it to logo. And uh, as you can tell, nothing happened. So functionality, we're going to change to RGBA to RGBA. And now map over, we're going to change to XY. And now we are done with this layers and maps place now we're gonna go back up to base form and now you can ar already see the, the thing starting to come in but we're just gonna size this up until we find a size that we like I'm gonna start with um, let's start with like 3,000 3,050 that's looking pretty nice I'm gonna size this up too let's go with like 2,500 yeah start with that and that's, that actually looks like it's going to be the right shape. But particles, let's make it um, 2,000. And let's make the bottom one, what, like 1,300 maybe? Let's just see how that looks. Is it building the logo? It is. Okay, cool. And then particles in Z, we just want one particle in Z. That just makes it a very flat logo instead of that 3D looking thing. And now I'm actually going to turn up the particles in Y because it's, it's getting kind of wavy looking. It's kind of strange. Let's do 1,500 just to make it even. Maybe that'll clear it up. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And you can tell it's getting kind of squished in a weird way. So just morph your logo to what you need. So I need more, more room going out, so I'm going to change the X. And that looks a million times better. And I'm actually going to... Actually, let's turn the X back down to 3,000 just so it's not too high up there. And then let's just turn this down to like 2,300. And then that'll just squish it. Is that looking any better? Uh, let's do 2,100. Yeah. So you just got to play with it, guys. Just gotta. It's like a man. You just got to play with it. That's so gay. That was so gay. Wow. Never say that again, Eli. <laughs> That was so homosexual. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> moving on. Particle type. We're going to go to sp Glow Sphere because it looks the best. And wow, it brightened up a lot. Now the opacity, we're going to turn down to 25 because it's, uh, it's a little bright. And we're going to make it look a lot better later anyway. So uh, now we're done with the particle layer. Ignore quick maps. I if you remember, we did something like this before, but we weren't using a logo. We were messing with quick uh, quick maps. That's why this is different. We use layer maps instead. So here's where the audio react part comes in. So go to your project and then go over to this uh, blank canvas area, double click in there and go find this uh, song made by Adil Loresh or whatever song you want. Import it, drag and drop it to the bottom of your uh, project. It doesn't have to be the bottom, but it just makes it more organized that way. Now go to your logo and then bring up your effect controls again and now go back down to audio react and here is where you need to change audio layer to Adil Laresh or whatever song you chose. 
And now we can go to the reactor and we can change up some stuff. So strength, I'm going to turn up to like 140. That, that should be good. Uh, map to fractal. And then uh, delayed direction. Let's do X outwards, just like we did in the last tutorial. And now we get to mess with other things. Let's go down to the fractal, <laughs> fractal field first. Uh, complexity, let's just turn it up to 4. And um, displace, we want to turn this up. Let's turn it up to like, what? Let's just start with something obnoxious and just see how it looks. I'm going to go forward and just see what we're doing to this uh, project. Whoa, that's looking cool. Wow, you can barely read what it's doing, but that's looking really cool. Uh, but yeah, just check out. If you if you uh, mess with the displace, it, does, it doesn't mess with it as much. So you can read it a little more. But I mean, you guys already know what it says. And I'll let you guys play around with it. I'm going to make mine look freaking complex as balls. That looks pretty cool. And you can still kind of read, you see, YouTube.TitsMcFly. You can kind of still read it, but not really, but it's all good. So with that, I'm pretty much done with form. You guys can keep going through this, but uh, that's all I usually mess with when I do form activities. So with that, I'm going to close form up. And now I just want to make this a little more interesting because it's kind of uh, cramping my style here with its ugliness. So I'm going to go back to the beginning so I can see what I'm doing to it. And the first thing we're going to do, since it's dull, is we're going to add a glow. So type in glow, or you can go to uh, stylized glow up here. You know, effect stylized glow, but it's way easier just to search for it. And I'll drag and drop it onto the logo layer. And I'm do I don't mess with anything. It just makes it pop automatically. Watch this. Any second now. Boom. Looks a million times better. And then the last thing we're going to add to make it look more beautiful is we're going to add shine. You guys don't have to do this, but you know I will because I have trap code shine. So I'm going to drag and drop it over into this area over here. And as you could tell, when you add it, it is ugly. So you do not want to use it right now. But here's what you want to do. You want to go to colorize and uh, keep it at... Actually, no, we're going to change this. And I'm just going to choose some random one that sounds blue ish or kind of purplish let's do enlightenment oh yep kind of a purplish blue let's see how it looks oh that looks awesome so let's turn this down to like 80 and then let's change the transfer mode to luminosity and see how that looks i bet it's gonna look awesome yeah that is what i'm talking about and now just look at this just 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 look wow that looks awesome so with that, you guys can be done now, but uh, I'm going to add a slow zoom, and it's a little more complicated than you think, so go to new camera. If you guys want to do this, you can follow along. So I'm just going to do a 35 millimeter camera, and I'm going to call this just camera because I hate the one on the end. Goodness. Okay, so it's going to push it down. This is what I wanted to show you guys. It's going to push it down. I'm actually going to switch this down to quarter just so... Uh, I can mess with it faster. Yeah, it destroys the quality, but I can see things a lot better. So uh, you can tell it pushed it down, and that looks like crap. So we want to go to the orientation, and let's just go to the negatives on the far left one. Oh, that was too high. So let's do like 355 and see how that looks. Oh, almost there. Let's go to like 356. Boom. That looks great. Okay, so now that it's lined up, the last thing we want to do is go to the camera options. And now we're going to toggle a nice zoom. So go all the way to the beginning, hit the stopwatch for the zoom. Now go all the way to the back. And we're just going to do a nice zoom uh, and just mess with it, you know. So just turn it up until you get to where you want to be. Wow, cool. That is freaking cool. And with that, I am now done. Except... You know, uh, no, I'll keep it at like 10 seconds. I'm not going to make it go that long. But I could. Do I want to? Uh, no, yeah, I'll, I'll make it go 21 seconds. Just because that's a nice happy in between that you guys can watch it for a little bit and just see how it looks. So let's go um, composition settings. Oh, fine, you talked me into it. I'll do a nice 30 second outro so you guys can see 
how far and you guys don't have to render it out. Goodness, you guys are so convincing sometimes. Why do you do this to me? All right, so to fix this, we're going to go to this top thing and we're going to zoom out. I'm going to select all of these and we're just going to click and drag them all the way back. If you can see that. Now I'm going to just grab the logo. Why won't that go any further? Wow, that's weird. Oh, I have to go into the here. Okay. So uh, we actually have to <laughs> mess with these too. So this is still at 10 seconds. So let's actually change this to 30. And then do the same thing. Zoom out. This this is why you don't have a composition inside of a composition. You get a compception and you don't like that. So don't do that. But yeah, so now we can click and drag logo out. Okay, so... And uh, the camera zoom now, it's uh, kind of screwed up. So let's just click and drag it all the way back to the 30 second mark. And with that, cool. So now we are done. Great job, guys. I will uh, click render. Oh, do I have to do that on camera too? Goodness, you guys are so convincing. Why do you guys do this to me? Okay, fine. I'll render this out on camera just so you guys can see. Go up to Composition, go to Add to Render Queue, then I'm going to just use WMV so it renders faster and it's a lot smaller of a file. Um, you're going to want to uh, keep the audio, and we're actually going to go into here. We do not... <laughs> Let's do a higher quality file. That's... that's uh, Yeah, so music, and then go back to video. That's all good, and then hit OK. So audio output, we're good. We're good everywhere, so hit OK. Now I'll go to the comp, and I'm just going to save this to... Wow, what is going on with my computer? Go to desktop, and I'm just going to save this as Greedy Peeps. I'm going to save it and hit render. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to let this render out, and then you guys can uh, watch till the end and check it out. But... Yeah, this was a lot of fun. And don't forget to leave uh, dares or whatever. And if it gets to 300 likes, then I will do it. Do whatever you guys want me to do. I am your doll. I am your sex slave. Tell me what to do and I'll do it. Okay, that's getting gay too. Why, what is up with me and like saying all these homosexual activities tonight? Goodness. Okay, so um, yeah, stay tuned for Brandon's tutorial on Tuesday. And I'm excited for my next tutorial too. So... Thank you guys so much. Oh, and if you guys want to check out uh, the, our gaming channel, go to YouTube, and I'm going to type in slash, where is it? Oh, oh, you know what? I'll just type it in here because I have you guys on camera. <laughs> check, check, check it. Gaming. Enter. And, uh, whoa, what, what is that? Let's go to check, check it. Gaming. We have this new video out called Candid Trolling. It is. It was so much fun to make, guys. We're going to be making a lot more of these. So um, if you guys want to play with us and stuff, go to this video, uh, tell us your gamer tag, and we'll troll people with you guys. It'll be a lot of fun. So, And also, all you guys asking about our Minecraft videos, they're all on this channel. So, yeah, go to this channel, subscribe, and check out all of our new Minecraft videos we've been uploading. You guys just haven't seen it. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next episode of... Why do I always do that <laughs> on the next effects Friday? Goodness. And next Friday, it will be up on Friday. I swear. Okay, I'm rambling on. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.